Yo, um, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a queue to your testing bot. So this right here, this is a server I personally work on and I've been, um, I've been paid to work on. But, um, basically, we're going to go ahead and just start with the very first thing you need to do. What you need to do is that you, might, you need to make an enter queue, CMD. Um, I'm going to post that in my Discord. It basically, it's just what you'd find in MC2s whenever you need to, um, enter when you, whenever you want to get tested. And so this will basically, I verify my account. It's not really like the same as MC tiers. You can probably make it the same as MC tiers, but uh, I haven't put enough effort into making it like MC tiers. Oh shit, my bad. Okay, and then I uh, get tested. You have been added to the queue channel. As you can see, I've been added to the queue. I'm not gonna look at that for right now, but I've been added to the queue role. So now I can look at the wait list or the queue, whatever you want to call it. So that's the first part you need to add. The second part you need to also add is get your results. Basically, all it is is that and here, you just import the command. You're gonna have to, uh, it's kind of a vague thing. It's like a vague tutorial, but what you would need to do is that you would need to fix your IDs. You would need to fix wherever your channel is sent. You need to fix all these roles. That's, you need to fix all of that. And let me go back for the verify enter Q thing. For right here, you need to fix the roles, you know, the, the permissions. Again, more roles, you need to fix more roles. This right here, you need to make a verified account role. So this will pretty much tell you if the account is verified or not. So if they can get tested or not. And those are the first two things you want to do if you're going to set up a server for tier testing. And then now what you want to do is get the basic queue command. And um, only thing you're going to change on this is that you need a channel ID and a message ID. So like just say, just get your bot to send a message. I have a command for that too, but just like make a, I don't know, make a command that says hi, do that. Get the channel ID, get the message ID, and then just put it into here and it's good. Once you use the command, that message will turn into the queue command. And then we go to slash close queue. It's basically the same thing. You need to put in the channel ID and the message ID. And then if I just do here, here, it will close the bot and it will, I mean, it will close the queue and it'll open the queue. And so that's pretty much all you would need to do for uh, the first few parts. Now these next things, they are not mandatory. I just have them because they're good to have. So what I have is that I have a bunch of like, what's it called? Quality of life command slash remove slash add slash pass eval, all useful commands. But first thing you would want to add is that you would want to have slash next. So let me go ahead and open this queue. I'm just going to join. I'm going to press. slash next um i'll put my name in there just in case it doesn't work correctly and i'll make a test for here you can customize it however you want i'll close the i'll close the ticket it's going to close the ticket um there's also some other things i can do to it if i want to for some reason usually it would uh the bot's lagging a little bit that's probably it but usually it would take you out of the command right there i mean out of the queue right there so now what i'm going to do i'm going to join again and do slash next and i'm going to put myself in there first and then now I'm going to do slash pass eval. It's going to put it, it's going to ask me if you want to change it. It's going to put it into a high test. Um, slash add, I don't know, vanilla crystal. It's going to ask me again if I should. And then it'll say vanilla crystal has been added by the ticket. Same thing for slash remove, same thing for everything else. It's basically what it's going to do. For these commands, uh, you would have to fix the uh, edit in every one of these in the edit of the channel block. You have to fix the category. Um, that's really it. Um, you also have to fix the uh, permissions. If, if there's like, if there's no permissions in here, you don't need to fix it but if there is permissions there you do need to fix it but yeah that's this is like a vague tutorial on how to make a cube bot it's really simple if you need help i'll help you but it's, it, it should only take you about five ten minutes to set this up fully if you know what you're doing and if, if you don't it's okay but yeah that's pretty much how you get a simple queue to your testing bot and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something I hope you find the commands useful and yeah have a good day